autant les blancs. Ah ouais Non, ouais. Après, Well, all the films that I've shot in France had to do with artistic creation. Uh, the Comedy Francaise was about the theater. La Danse was about ballet. Crazy Horse was about dance and eroticism. And Menu Plaisir is about the preparation of great food. I was looking for a restaurant to take my friends to, to thank them for putting me up for a month. I was looking for a good restaurant. And said, I looked in the Guide Michelin, and I found Trois Gros, uh, it's a you know, three-star restaurant. And so I took them there, and, and the chef, uh, César Trois Gros, came out and sort of worked the room, at, uh, you know, as is typical in restaurants like that, come, come out and talk to the people at the tables. And so without planning it, and just instinctively I said to him, I make documentaries, so would you ever consider having one made here. And he said, let me talk to my father. He came back 30 minutes later and said, why not? And I discovered only when they came to see the film when it was finished, that his father wasn't there that day. And that what he did was look me up in the internet. So for once the internet was useful because it provided a good housekeeping seal of approval. It was an amazing experience because, I mean, they're artists, uh, both in the figuring out the various recipes and also in the presentation. They're extremely careful about how the meal looks on the plate. And César Torgo, for example, basically inspected every plate before it left the kitchen. And if a passion fruit or a raspberry or a rognon was out of line, you know, a little tweezer and, you know, he... he he worked on the composition. Whatever the definition of an artist may be, they're artists. In each day shooting, in each film, you have to decide how you're going to shoot it, and you have to react very quickly. Uh, in the kitchen, I, uh, I collected lots of close-ups because I knew that I would need them. And, and at the same time, I followed uh, César and his father, Michel, who also worked in the kitchen. The tasks were quite clearly divided. I mean. There uh, it was a group of people that did desserts, there was a group of people who prepared fish and meat, uh, and it, it progressed from the selection of the Chateaubriand to the preparation of the Chateaubriand to the cooking of the Chateaubriand to its placement on a plate and a tray to be delivered to the customer in the restaurant. So I quickly became aware of the routine and over the course of the seven weeks that we were there, made sure that I followed every aspect of the routine in the kitchen. And also because it is a routine, um, it was possible to shoot it in different ways on different days, which I wanted to do because I knew that would give me coverage. I knew in advance in this film more than most other films exactly what I wanted to do. I mean, I wanted to follow uh, the purchase of the food, uh, the preparation, and the serving, and uh, also visit some of the suppliers. I mean, I, I didn't know what was going to happen in each of those categories, but I knew that that's what I had to cover in order to adequately uh, represent the restaurant. Everything is pure chance. And since I do absolutely no prompting or write any text, sometimes you luck out and sometimes you don't. And over the course of the shooting, you hope you luck out enough so you have enough material to, to edit the film. It's a combination of luck and good judgment. As an independent filmmaker, I don't have access to the millions of dollars that Netflix, for example, spends to launch a film. So if, if the film is selected at the New York Film Festival, it provides uh, publicity uh, and a potential audience. It's the best way to launch the film in America.